Now, I've watched, I, to prepare for this topic, man, I've watched all kinds of shit and reasons why people are abandoning the game. Name and we can get started. I think the, the biggest first reason is that J.K. Rowling is, is a very vocal anti-trans person. She's very yeah. vocal about, and she also supports organizations that are anti-trans. Mm-hmm. So that's like one of the biggest things right now that people are so angry about is that if you support this game, you're a transphobe. Right. right. Basically. And it's to the point where people are making websites saying, if your favorite, we'll let you know if your favorite streamer streams the games, you can block them. You can use exactly. like a database where you can type in like a streamer's name and it'll let you know if they block them. They're spoiling the game. So I've seen pictures of like, get this legendary item in Hogwarts Legacy. And you click it and zoom in and it's like, gives you all the major st- spoilers of the story. They're going in. And, making a sure. middle finger. In a middle finger. People are saying uh, things about what, what else? Another thing that people are talking about is that, and I, this is like, I don't know how I never see, but that's my mind doesn't wander there. See, my mind doesn't go there. So I never thought about it. But they're calling, they're calling out like every single thing that's like racist and, and, and bigoted in, in the Harry Potter series is that if you've ever seen Harry Potter, there's like goblins and ghouls. And of course, it's fantasy. But the goblins in particular, they're like an oppressed group of people who have very big ears, big noses, like they have like sharp teeth, like fang, like fangs and sharp teeth. And they are like the bankers of the Hogwarts world. And they depict them as evil and they have to be suppressed and they have to be subjugated. And you have to watch them, but they can control the money, though. It feels very, and they control the money. It feels very, I mean, people are pointing out that it's very, and now that I've been, it's been pointed out to me, I can see it very clearly that it's based off of World War II anti-Semitic depictions of Jewish people. Damn. I watched a whole video on it and I was just like, I was like, how did I not it kinda makes sense, pick though. up on that? It was like so it ridiculous. They put the goblins like side by side of like a lot of the propaganda and like racist yeah, depictions. exactly. And it's like just like, whoa. It's kind of like, whoa. Because people like, like today, like we're so far removed from that. Like you said, our minds aren't even going to go to that. But someone like J.K. Rowling, how old is she? Is she a boomer? I think she's a boomer. She's like in her fifties. She has to be fucking in her 50s boomer. Sixties. Fucking boomers. She would definitely do that shit. And you were talking about something else though, where it connects to the to the anti-Semitic. Yeah, coach. and there was like you know in, in Harry Potter, there was a, a Goblin Rebellion in the Harry Potter history in sixteen twelve. Mm. And people were putting that's together, putting it together on the internet. That's like, hey, there was like a from 1612 to 1616, there was like a whole like attacks on Jewish people, like heavy attacks on Jewish people. Right. At the same time, makes right. you wonder: could be a coincidence? Hell no, it's not. No but it's kind. That's kind of weird. That's kind of strange. That's like that exact Martin year. Luther King Jr. was killed in this year, and then in the same game about slavery. Uh, or not slavery in the same uh, uh, the same Jim game Crow about civil and, and segregation. Yeah, exactly. You gonna have one of the main fic, uh, figures be assassinated on the same year? Like, duh, duh. Yeah. So people are really finding out this shit. They calling her out for her shit. And now, does she have that much? Is there anything else that that? that, that there's a lot. The there's a lot. There's a lot more. Not necessarily the game, but just like they're criticizing the lore of the series and it, it itself. Were like, they criticizing the names of the people too? That yeah, shit was like the crazy. I never was thought. See, shit. bro, some of this shit. Like, I watched the hour long video that like broke down like all the bullshit, and like went deep. Was bringing up the history. Um, so one of the so there's a black character. They say he's from the he's Caribbean. His name is Kingsley Shacklebolt. So Shackle. Kingsley, like Jamaica, <laughs> like Kingston. I think it's Kingston. I think it's called Kingston. I'm just double checking, but I'm pretty sure Shackle, Kingston, bro. Kingston is in uh, Kingsley is Shacklebolt. You know, see the shackles. Yeah, Kingston, Jamaica. So his name is Kings Kingsley Shacklebolt. It's like put the kufi on. You kind of wonder. You know that what I mean? Easy. Like I'm kind of wondering. Easy. And the next one is there's a, a character of Chinese descent. Her name is Cho Chang. A lot of people are saying like, "Come on, who bro. do you know that is named this Chinese name Cho Chang?" It's like never met a single one. I've seen never people say it's like one. taking like two last names and or, or like or someone said it when I did some research today. Said that Cho is actually Korean. And Chang is is Chinese. So it's like she didn't care. It's like if you just took like a I don't know, a one part of variation. Africa, their name, and another part of Africa, a different language, their name. <laughs> that's her name. Just they they blacks, they African blacks. So yeah. uh yeah, That I, was her version of matter. Tyrone and Jamal. That yeah, it's her, like she, Tyrone and Jamal. That was her version of Tyrone to, and Jamal. She, she was trying to be subliminal about the Ching Chong shit. That's all she wanted to say, really, was Ching Chong. Tyrone Jackson. That's stupid, bro. So they calling her Keisha, out for her shit. Keisha and Johnson. And, and that, exactly. And that makes complete sense, bro. Some of these people just need to, t- like I was saying with the Grammys, bro. 
some of these people just need to be taken out back and put a gun. I'm not gonna say nothing more. I'm not because I don't. Oh wanna, I don't want to get taken down. I don't want to get taken down. But um, uh, off YouTube. But and the next thing that a lot of people are really talking about, and I'm I'm playing the game. You guys can criticize me. I I pre-ordered the game, downloaded it before, and then I started seeing some of the that controversy. That was bold of you. But I didn't really. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I bought the game. That was and bold. I'm I'm past the. I, I I had played a couple of hours when I got it, and then I started doing more research. I got I did I pre-ordered and everything. Got it two days early. So before y'all say, well he he got the game and he knew. Listen, I knew about the and and you I, and knew about wrong. it. You knew. I I knew about the the the, the transphobic con- controversy, and I still got the game because I'm not gonna lie to you. Harry Potter is like in deep in my heart, man. I mean, I, I was a little kid. My mom was like reading the books to me when I was like a child, dude. I saw every movie in theaters. That was one moment of weakness. But now I regret it when I see all the other stuff that I didn't even just catch. This is shit I saw growing up. I knew about Kingsley Shackable. I knew all their names. I just didn't think about it. Like, it Are you ready like, to tell the audience that you're no longer going to support the Hogwarts family? <laughs> well, well, I'll say going forward. And this is what I'll say. What I'll, I'll say going forward. I will not give her any more money. I, I will say I will not give her any more money, but I can't promise that I won't do alternate methods to still enjoy some of the alternate shit. Alternate methods. Cool. That's funny. So you're not going to boycott is, with your jawler. 